drama unfolded in court when High Court Judge Musa Sekhana dismissed an application for cross-examination of the Electoral Commission boss Justice Simon Biabakama and the Electoral Commission Secretary Samura Kojo. Prior petitioners were also lawyers Male Mabilizi and Kampa Lord Mayor Elias Kwago asked the court to summon Biabakama and Rakojo for cross-examination about the contents in their affidavits. However, when court resumed at 4.45 p.m. to deliver its ruling on the matter, Mabilizi attempted to block the ruling, saying it was invalid. High Court Judge Musa Sekhan overruled Mabilizi's objection and went ahead to read out his ruling in which he dismissed their application on grounds that they made no case for its grant. The parties in the matter appear to be in agreement and that is why no single paragraph in the affidavit by the respondents has been cited by the applicants that needs clarification. I find that the applicants have made no case for summoning Biwakama and Rakojo. Immediately after the ruling, Mabilizi again engaged in a bitter exchange with the judge when he made another application, requesting him to recuse himself from the case on grounds that he was formerly an electoral commission lawyer. That takes me to Sabro E. He says, Lawyer and Judicial Minister makes inappropriate comments or exhibits unacceptable conduct in the case of the year. How do you have done this? In the morning, you say, Speak your rubbish. Do this, and actually, you were almost arguing for the case. Right now, you are saying, Speak your rubbish. This is unappropriate conduct, comments and conduct. And no wonder when the ruling came, even some of my things were not recorded. Just based on their authorities as if they were the ones who were doing So, my God, the test, the test for a chooser is clear cut out. Actually, he said that appearance is as good as the reality. Appearance of bias is as good as the reality of bias. My Lord, I've had enough the appearance of your bias. And indeed, I've seen the reality in your room. And to me, it doesn't make any sense to continue being here as if I'm in the court. It actually, I'm before the sister of Hamas lawyer. <laughs> oh, this is uh, the sister of Hamas lawyer. Mabilizi further accused the judge of expressing bias on them when he allegedly told them to make their rubbish submissions. It was at that moment that the judge ordered for the court orderly to arrest Mabilizi. I'm telling you, we are going to proceed to give timelines. Tomorrow I'll give you a response. No, <laughs> Whether I recuse or not, whether another judge comes or not, something must be done. The case is not going to die because you already say that you recuse myself. For example, for me, I want to buy the Why are you saying for time? You don't, you don't determine before this court. You don't decide for me. If you have been doing it for other judges, sorry. Yeah, you, you cannot tell me that you're going to appear before me and judge the court. You actually never knew. Of the people. What is that you're talking about? Now, when I say it's rubbish, then you say, I'm saying, is it rubbish? I said that from the six. That's actually the name of the people. We are the party. Mr. Malay, you push me to the extreme. And I can do extremes. You may end up in New Zealand. Yes. Just give respect to court. Don't think we are in the annual support of the arrest like this. It's the last time you're doing it. We are human beings. Don't push me to the wall. This prompted Lukwago to stand up and make a submission. I see this, this environment has not been conducive for justice to be done or to be seen to be done. That said, my Lord, I'd like to associate myself with the prayer for the accused. The judge said he will give his ruling on whether or not to disqualify himself from the matter on notice. Kiriwa Kiwanuka and Godfrey Kandebe lead a group of lawyers which represents Biawakama and Rakojo. 
In this case, before the High Court, Lupago and Mabilizi, together with a group of 13 opposition leaders, want Biabakama and Rakojo thrown out of office, saying they are holding them illegally. They claim Biawakama's continued holding of the Office of the Electoral Commission without relinquishing the position of the Justice of the Court of Appeal contravenes Article 60, Subsection 5 of the Constitution. In regard to Wakojo, they claim he is in office illegally, alleging that his contract expired. The petitioners also want court to declare the ongoing mass registration of voters that ends on December 11th null and void on grounds that it will disenfranchise Ugandans who will be turning 18 years before the elections. They also want court to declare that 32 billion shillings earmarked for mass voter registration misuse of public funds contrary to Article 59 of the Constitution and Section 19 of the Electoral Commission Act 2010, which mandates whoever turns 18 years to register and vote. <laughs> Story compiled by Kasule Farouk. <laughs>